This is a video tutorial for using MC Wise Owl in the Language Arts classroom. MC Wise Owl is a collection of databases uh, that will help us find articles, um, newspaper ma articles, magazine articles, uh, different resources that will help us uh, find reading material, especially as our curriculum goes more and more towards informational texts. Let's start by going to the Student Research tab on the left side of the page. Uh, if you're working from home, you'll need to acquire a password from the school media coordinator. Type that in and you can get where you need to be. Uh, there's some excellent resources here. You see that we can, when we're searching, define what we're searching. Do we want just magazines? Do we want newspapers? Do we want books and encyclopedias? Do we want biographies? But we can uh, change it by what source, what type of document do we want. Another nice thing about searching this database is that we can search it according to Lexile reading level. Uh, this would be helpful uh, in differentiation for the different reading levels that you have within your classroom. Uh, or it could just be if you're working, just want to show some basic uh, stuff, you might want to start with some lower reading level and then move on up to higher reading levels as you advance in the skill. Um, but this is a searchable database um, that provides those ways to search. Uh, if you go to the teacher resources section um, and then you type in a topic that you're teaching, so maybe you're te teaching poetry, you can type that in and it'll give you resources that are geared towards teachers and so this could be helpful in how you're going to teach your class uh, poetry or whatever topic it was. And so when you're looking at a new topic, you might in the planning stages, just try and look at a couple of these articles and see uh, if you come up with some ideas that can help you. Let's head back to the middle school zone and let's look at the next resource that we have. Uh, the next couple resources on this page are just going to be basic encyclopedias. We're not going to spend the time to go too much into that, uh, but let's look at a few other resources here. Maybe as a language arts teacher you want to spend some time uh, looking at newspapers and how to read a current event kind of thing. So you would log in if you need to at school. I don't believe you need to use the login. Uh, but this is a database that's going to search newspaper articles. And so you're going to get very up-to-date information. So you type in whatever it is you're looking for. Um, so maybe we're doing Abraham Lincoln. And we're going to do a search. And so it gives us information about this. And even though we're st we're, we put in a term, Abraham Lincoln, he's been around for a while, our information is very up-to-date. Anything more up-to-date than what we're going to find within our um, textbooks that we have. So this is the newspapers tab that's on the side of the middle school zone. Another thing we're going to want to take a look at is novelist K through 8. Actually let's hold on to that. We'll spend another video that looks at that because that's a really neat resource. Let's take a look at some of the other resources that you may want to use for your classroom. Um, primary source websites. This can be an excellent one. Uh, if you go here, I would definitely recommend that you check out American Memory. Um, this could be very valuable in looking at um, sources for primary source collections. So maybe we want to look at some of Lincoln's letters. And we can see, even in his own handwriting, some of Lincoln's letters. Other valuable resources that we're going to find on the middle school zone, uh, there's the Word Central Dictionary, um, which is just a standard dictionary. You type in the word that you want, and it'll give you the definition. Uh, there's a thesaurus, and there's also a rhyming dictionary, so if you're working on rhyming poetry, this could be a great resource as well. And then for our ESL students, there's a Spanish and English dictionary. In the next video, what we'll be looking at is the uh, novelist K-8 through resource.